EMOG Sports TV back with another one. All right, family, if you're new to the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. I need more. I just need more interaction, man. I, I need people to find out about this page. Subscribe, like, share, hate, whatever. I need more activity for this channel. So please subscribe. Please do all that good stuff, man. Um, so yeah. Uh, so let's let's talk about Derrick James, man. And I made a previous video about Derrick James. Um, and I said, this is a must win fight for Derrick James when I'm referring to Canelo Alvarez versus Jamel Charlo. Derrick James is the reigning trainer of the year. And this year has been extremely rough for Derrick James. Um, you know, I, I, what happens is when you become successful, this is, this is just me, in my opinion, you know, he got extremely successful, um, you know, last year with, with Errol Spence and, you know, he became a very sought after trainer. And so he increased his stable mate from Errol Spence, Jamel Charlo, to Anthony Joshua, to Frank Martin, to Ryan Garcia, right? I mean, he has elite fighters in his stable, mate, in his stable. And, you know, um, his last two major big fights, he got completely dominated, you know? Um, Terrence Crawford versus Errol Spence. It was a masterclass performance by Terrence Crawford. Um, you know, Terrence Crawford was able to take out, take the, his most effective weapon versus Errol Spence, which is, which was his jab. Um, and it just made Derrick James look extremely bad. You know, Derrick James has a plan. Regardless of how, what you say about Derrick James, it's about the outcome. So my, my, my point is, is that. Derek James prepared his fighters the best way he could, right? He gives instructions to make adjustments during the fight. And what I've noticed that, you know, these fighters, they don't really listen to him. Look at the last Frank Martin fight, you know? I mean, he didn't really turn up until the later half of the fight. You know, Anthony Joshua, even though that was a last minute replacement with Hellenius, um, he struggled until the knockout, right? And of course, we all know what happened with Terrence Crawford and, 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 and Errol Spence. Got completely dominated. Seemed like there was no plan B or C or D or whatever after Crawford took his jab away. And of course, now we have the fight with Canelo Alvarez and Jamel Charlo. Or Jamel. And I hate to use the term running. I hate using that term running. But we all saw it. He... You know, Jamel fought to survive. He ran around the ring to survive for 12 rounds and to say, hey, I, at least I didn't get knocked out. That's what he said in his post fight interview. At least I didn't get knocked out like the other guys. So that was his moral victory. So with Derrick James, man, you know, his reputation as an elite trainer, in my eyes, doesn't exist anymore. Um... He got completely dominated his last two major fights versus Terrence Crawford and versus Canelo Alvarez. Completely dominated. They were dominated in different ways, but they he got dominated as a trainer. He was dominated. Um, so Derrick James went from trainer of the year to non-elite trainer. You know, and, and I, this is not a video to, to bash... Derrick James, I want Derrick James to do well, you know, and it's great to see a black trainer get these kind of fighters in his stable. You know, I want to continue to see him do well. But my point is, is that, and, and, on, and this is a little a deeper topic because um, with these PBC fighters, if you notice the pattern of the fashion of their losing, it's due to inactivity. That's one attribute that can't be overlooked. It's not the sole attribute, but it's a it's a it's an attribute that you cannot overlook. So for Derek James, he's not just a trainer too. He's an advisor. Al Ham is an advisor, matchmaker, whatever. He got his, his stuff and people. 
But, you know, Derrick Henry's got to say no to these to these fights. You know, these guys can't be sitting on the sideline from 12 to 16 months. And then all of a sudden they get a call. Hey, we got to fight X, Y, Z for $20 million. Uh, set it up. Like, it's okay to take two no fights. It's okay. Activity matters. So if you look at the fights between uh, Spence, um, Jermel Charlo, uh, Fulton, right? All of these guys, before they had their big, their major fights this year, they were inactive for over a year. So, and specifically talking about Derrick James fighters, you know, with with, with Jamel and 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 Cro uh, Jamel and Spence, both of these fighters were inactive for over a year. So I would say, Derrick James, please do not get your fighters to be inactive for over a year before taking a major fight. Have them do a tune up fight. Have them get acclimated to taking punches, training camps, etc sparring let them get a tune-up fight before these major fights so we can see a more competitive fight when they do these major fights right that is my suggestion so yeah i i wish derrick james nothing but the best but like i said in, in my eyes right now he's no longer an elite trainer he got dominated and outclassed his last two major fights he still has a chance to redeem himself right you know Jamel is still the unified champ at 154. Um, Errol Spence can redeem himself at, at, at 154 or 160, right? He can go, he can move up and wait. And, and 160 is a pretty much a, it's open. I would say, you know, I would say uh, Spence can go to 160, right? Go to 160 and dominate and, and, and become undisputed at 160. He could do that. So there's plenty of chances for for Derrick James to redeem himself right now. But I wish him nothing but the best. I want him to see him succeed. But like I said, in my eyes right now, he's no longer an elite trainer until he bounces his back and, and gives the right advice. It's not just about X's and no's. It's about advising your fighters what to do for taking these fights. All right? So those are my thoughts on that, family. Leave your comments down below. Again, if you're new to the channel, please like comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Until next time, family, signing out. Peace.